The Department of Homeland Security issued a warning. Extremist violence was likely coming against abortion clinics. But what you haven't heard about is that since May alone, there have been more than 70 violent attacks on pro-life pregnancy centers and organizations. This is according to the group Catholic Vote. How many arrests? Zero. Why haven't we heard about this? Journalist Olivia Rheingold, a contributor to the Substack Common Sense, has written about this, joins us now. Olivia, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. So uh, the first challenge will be Catholic vote. I don't believe them. What did your reporting reveal? Okay, great question. So I went through this list of 75 attacks and not to call out Catholic vote, which I, I believe you just mentioned, there is a conservative lobbying group. Uh, you know, I did find two or three that did seem a little, little hollow there, but not to make this about Catholic votes count. Uh, there, there are other counts there, and I would say that 75 is actually pretty conservative. And what kinds of violence are we talking about? So it is all instances of property damage, you know, uh, vandalism, a lot of vandalism, graffiti saying things like liars, uh, fake clinic. But there have been at least two instances which are pretty serious. There have been at least two fire bombings. And how do you explain uh, from your understanding why we haven't heard about these or police investigations or charges? Uh, you know, the, this story has uh, hardly made it out of evangelical circles. I will say that um, every pro-life advocate I spoke with was keenly aware of these attacks and that the pro-choice people I spoke with had never heard of them. Uh, so I guess to answer that question, I will refer to my own experience reporting this and uh, the reaction I got from some of my friends who said that, you know, well, just kind of brushed this off. I mean, they're right to point out that abortion providers have died and this is largely property damage, but I, I'm not sure that everyone is concerned about these attacks. You think there may be a little politics at play, but, you know, to the, to the perspective that you had there, do you think that's a fair pushback that, okay, uh, you've got people who are going to have extreme uh, behavior on both sides of this issue, but it's not even. The people who go after family planning centers and places that practice reproductive rights, they get targeted in a way that is lethal. This is just words and stones, sticks and stones. I, I mean, I, I will start by saying that no one has died in these attacks. There has been hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of damage, especially in the firebombing instances. But no one, you know, two firefighters have been injured. And so comparatively, I, I do understand what people are saying. But I did speak to the former head of the ACLU, who I think said something really interesting. She said that she condemns these attacks, not despite being pro-choice, but because she is pro-choice. She said that historically, while she ran the ACLU, that all of the attacks were against her side. You know, she is a, a staunch advocate of abortion rights. And so she said that she has an especially strong stake in protecting the rule of law. And I think there's something to that. Hey, listen, I appreciate you doing the reporting. I'm sure you got a lot of interesting comments about it. Um, but, you know, you don't do the job to be popular. You do it, you know, to shed light on things that people have to know. Olivia Reingold, thank you very much. I appreciate you for joining us. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.